still an absolute legend. Brilliant stuff. Right, it's time to find out whether Sophia will be getting food heaven or food hell. Everybody here has made their minds up, so you could be having the king, the king of uh, all cured meats. This is Pata Negra, or uh, Jambon Iberico from the Black-Footed Pig. Mm. Uh, all the way from southern and southern sort of region of Spain. They produce a lot of this sort of stuff. Mega expensive. <laughs> But fabulous. We couldn't afford anything else, so we got frozen peas with it. <laughs> um, <laughs> alternatively, you could be getting the crab over here, which could be done sort of three ways. It could be did something to sort of little crab balls. We've got some uh, uh, poppy seeds and sesame seeds there, deep fat fried, and make a spicy chili jam to go with the claws and the brown meats mixed together to make sort of a, a, a nice three way combination. How mm -hmm. do you think these lot have decided? I'm really, really hoping that. Chefs, spooks fans. <laughs> <laughs> You needed two votes. I, I feel like I may have a, like a, I might be torn. If, I, be got, if I got <laughs> these guys, typical chefs, they stuck with their guns, went for the crab. Yeah. <laughs> so it's down um, to these girls over I'm here. I'm hoping the ladies chose. They've been kind to you. They did. Yeah. They're the ones that got you. Yeah. So you're having food heaven. Oh, we'll brilliant. lose this out of the way. Yeah. Four three. So it's a pretty uh, close one today. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to do a simple little risotto, we're and we're going to do roast monkfish. So first, I'm going to get Bill at the end there to then chop me some garlic and chop me some shallot for my risotto. Okay. That's that oh. one. And then Maddie, if I can get you to grate me some parmesan. Yes. There you go. Parmesan. Yeah. Um, you need to get it matured, so parmesan. So get a good quality mm -hmm. parmesan. It needs to mature for a decent amount of time. Monkfish here, I'm going to get that on first of all, because we're going to roast this off. Now, this is my recipe, so we have got butter <laughs> <laughs> in here. <laughs> there you go. So we get a little bit of butter. Mm -hmm. We're going to throw it into our pan, get that nice and hot. So that's going to go in there and pop our monkfish in, just to give it a nice quick little colour. I've cut this up into decent sized chunks, because we're going to roast this off as well. So. A little bit of that, just colour that slightly. And then we're going to put some peas in this risotto. So I've got frozen peas. We're just going to take a few of these and make a pea puree. Mm -hmm. Just frozen peas, taken out, almost defrost them. That's all. We only want about sort of two or three minutes, that's all. Okay. No more than that. So the monkfish, just get a little bit of colour on it. You'll get that with the butter on there anyway. And then we've got over here asparagus, fresh English asparagus. When you can get it, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Out of season, of course, now, but a little bit of that. So you get a little bit of colour on top of the monkfish. See that you get that with the butter. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get that with the oil. <laughs> right. So a little bit of that over the top. Flip that fish over. Nice bit of colour. Throw in our asparagus because we're going to roast off these spears. They only take about sort of, five minutes. That's it. Right. Marjoram goes fantastic well with peas in the risotto. Ah. But marjoram's a nice. great herb. Mm, Wonderful lovely. herb. Grow it in your garden. It grows everywhere. Like it doesn't go like mint, but you got a huge, great bush full of marjoram. It's wonderful. And then this is the key to this thing. Mm. This is pata negra. No, you're not yet. <laughs> no, the whole idea is you have it afterwards. <laughs> this is Iberico, all right, pata negra, which is, uh, mm. like I said, southern Spain. Um, if you, in terms of this of price, sort of in comparison to sort of Serrano or Parmaham, you're probably looking about four to five times the price. Wow. So it's a big difference. They do sell this in supermarkets now. Um, but it can only be hand sliced a lot of the time. Oh. So when, if you're ever, if people are, they watch this at the, uh, the airport, this program as well, where they're sat there waiting for the flight, because it's delayed usually. Um, you can actually, if you go into Barcelona, there's a brilliant market called La Bucuria Market, smack in the centre of um, Barcelona. Beautiful market, and there you can get some of the greatest hams, in particular that one, and they'll carve it for you while you wait. You can just sit on a sort of spa stool and have it. Oh, wonderful. In the pan, Joe. Do you want me to... Uh, not that goes in that one. Do you want me to Sorry? grind the peas for you? I can... Can you blend the peas for me yeah. while I control Bill? And the... The, <laughs> the ham is... It's, okay. fed, it's fed on acorns, is that it right? It is. That's, That's the reason why it gets its flavour, yeah. yeah. It's, um, it's bred on acorns and um, it basically runs a lot in right. search of the acorns. So it doesn't sit there. So when you look at the actual size of the ham itself, hmm. It's very different to the size of a conventional sort of serrano ham, which is much bigger. Huh. Um, it's much more leaner. Lean, yeah. It's like the lymph Linford crispy of the ham world. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Right. So we've got in here, we've got garlic, shallot. Mm -hmm. Not too much colour. We're going to pop in some butter <laughs> in here. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh. <laughs> Saute this off as sad. Over here, we've got the puree. Now, the reason why oh. I puree the peas is we get that lovely rich colour. Add it into our risotto okay. rice. But this is the start of risotto. Shallots, garlic. You don't have to add garlic if you don't want. Can you chop all that into lardons, please? All of it. That would yeah. be great. Ooh, oh, we don't want to waste any. Oh. And you better chop that up as well into okay. lardons. The whole okay, lot. Great. So cook this without colour. 
Yes. The rice goes in. Oh, mm. yeah. Carolina oh, or Arborea yum, yum. rice. Okay. Oh. There too. Coat Ooh. the rice in the butter. Mm. Yeah. Like that. Some people like mm. white wine in risottos, you want to others help don't. With that, huh? I put white wine yeah. in. Yeah, it's alcohol. Cook out the white way, right? wine. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Very quick, it's right. simple to make risotto, all right? Yeah. And then we've got, over here, I've got chicken stock. Although right. with fish and veg, you can use either vegetable stock or chicken stock. Really? Don't use fish stock for this, it's too strong. So I we add that. some chicken stock, all right? Obviously, okay. if you're a vegetarian eating this, you wouldn't be eating meat with it as well. No. But anyway, but you leave it out and just use a bit of vegetable stock, yeah. all right? So bring this to the boil. Keep adding stock when you need it. And then after about sort of 12, 15 minutes, the rice does take longer than you think. All right? This is amazing, James. It's <laughs> it is fantastic. Matter and I are pinching a bit as we go. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to take oh. our little lard off. They make this in chorizo as, now, as well now, so we're just going to dry fry it. Oh, let's spread in. It looks so good. Where did you buy you this need one from? This, mm. uh, it's nice. obviously from London yeah. somewhere. You want more? Mm -hmm. You can pop it all in, yeah? I'll keep one for myself. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so over here, we've got our peas. And what I will do is take a little bit of this rice out. Yeah. have probably got too much. Mm. There you go. But you can order it through the butchers. You can um, you can buy this delicatessen. Uh, we'll sell it. Supermarkets are selling it, like I say. Mm -hmm. So you put the peas in there. there we go. That's the pea puree. Mm -hmm. And so that, all that was just the, I missed. I wasn't watching. That's it. That's basically just, peas just in the, the frozen peas. Yeah. That I've just basically just blanched. Yeah. Defrosted. That's gone straight in. These are the fresh. Uh, sorry, the other frozen peas. Oh. Straight from frozen. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now the secret of this is to keep it loose. So what I do is add some. Mascarpone cheese. Mm. There you go. Can you do me about twice that? Is that all right, oh, Madam? Sure. Thank I you. Think. Keeping some of your stock and then you can loosen this down, all right? Mm -hmm. So what I don't do is add this too early. So we're going to crisp this up, you see. Oh, can you smell that? Well, they can't at home. We no, can I smell know, it, yeah. Mm. But the idea is with this, you keep it nice and soft. The problem with risottos is if you make it too early and allow it to sit, it actually starts cooking and congeals together. Oh. So you need to make sure it's quite loose. So don't be frightened about adding a little bit more stock than yeah. you think. So you've got the ham like that. That's crisped up. We can put all that in there. There you go. And then madda has got my... Cheese. Bit of cheese. Are you ready? I'm there. Okay. Pea and ham, what more do you want? Look at that. Here we are. There you go, thank you very much. In goes the cheese. Bit of that. Some salt, careful the amount of salt, because obviously it's quite salty, these hams. Touch of that again. Black pepper. And the asparagus went in already, did it? No, the asparagus oh. is roasted off in the oven. Ah, oh, OK. So, as you can see, you add the cheese and it'll start to thicken up again. Mm. See, that's gone thicker. What you do is add a bit more stock to bring it back down again. So you keep turning off the heat, back on the heat. But remember, cook that rice properly as first. But you've got this loose style texture, that's what you want. Don't overcook it at this point because you've got the peas in there. Bit of marjoram, which like I said is great with peas. Mix that together. Quick taste. There you go. Can you clear that lot, please, guys? Nice. Mm, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Maybe a little bit more salt. <clears throat> do you need this? There you go. And then what we do is bring this over. And we can put this on the plate. So the idea is that it should just fall nicely. So this is what it wants. All right. Mm. So it just doesn't sit in the ring and take the ring off, and it just sits there. Mm -hmm. And then in the oven, of course, we've got our other bit, which has got your crispy ham, your roasted oh my goodness, asparagus. Got you forgot about, about this, didn't you? Wow. Mm. And then you got your. Monkfish. Monkfish is amazing. We don't get it in Australia. And, and all it is is it's just... Fish. No, how high was that oven so on? This is really hot. So as hot as the really, oven will really go really at home. This, that's in that oven for literally about five minutes. Wow. As hot as it will go. And then okay. what I'm going to do is just grab a little bit of this oil. Because we haven't got any butter left. Mad has taken it away. <laughs> a bit of that. Which can go over the top. There you go. Oh Put goodness. your hands on that. Goodness. Oh. Knives and forks. Dive in. Tell us what you think. Oh, thank you. It's thank every, you. every man for yourself on this one, Sophia, because you won't get Do you want to bring yeah. over the glasses, guys? 
Yes. See if we've done justice Come on, to it. You go, yeah. you jaw. Let's go. Let's now, to go it. with this, Ollie's chosen a Coon Molopol. Yes. Uh, it's a white Rioja, widely available, £7.99. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Try it. There you go. I, love it Goodness. I don't know whether you girls have tried this ham. Try it. Come over. Try that. Try a little. Mm. Tell us what you think. It seriously, if you can get this stuff, it's called Pata Negra, uh, Iberico, Jambon mm. Iberico, mm. Southern Spain. Mm, wow. It is the world's best ham, I think. Mm. Fantastic. <laughs> James, mm. I voted for the crab, but this. <laughs> I'm glad this is amazing. <laughs> Are you right? Have a drink. Yeah, fine. I'm just choking mm. today. Go on, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. If you can find it, not, it not is worth the money. So. <laughs> I know. <I'm laughs> happy with that? Occasion. You won't be able to wait for the weekend. No, I Great stuff. Well, that's all for our Saturday <laughs> Kitchen. Thanks to Matter Jeffrey, Bill Granger, and Sophia Miles. Oh. Cheers to Ollie Smith, the birthday boy for the wine choices. And today, chefs there, we've got Charlotte and Lindsay here. All the recipes cooked in the studio are as always on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. The show's back live at the usual time of 10 o'clock next week. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Bye.